What's up legends? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to another house tour. Um, I've been checking kind of on previous comments um, if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos and it seems like you do. So we're moving aside from the cars for one video right now and we're going to be talking about a pretty spectacular villa right here in uh, the south of France in Saint-Tropez. So we've got five bedrooms and a studio in this house. It's beautiful, super modern. You'll see amazing view. So many key points to this house which are pretty stunning. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the interior and then we're going to go through the exterior of the house. Right here I'm stood in the driveway. So you have this pretty steep long driveway which comes all the way down from the road up there to show you into this four car garage. So awesome that you have a four car covered garage and then you can probably park another four cars easily out here on the patio. Really nice, a little bit steep but uh, pretty smooth the driveway as long as you've got your lift system or a car that's not too too low you're absolutely fine out here you'll see where this leads to this is the pool house so we're just going to come through right now so the whole house is kind of the you're going to have to keep track of where we're going because the way it works is uh, pretty interesting you have separate access from the road up there you see down into the house. Um, now we're gonna go straight inside. All right, so look at this here, straight into the living room. Everything is surrounded by glass. It is a really impressive room. There's even a bit of an echo, which I'm sure you guys can hear, but awesome. You can open all of these curtains up and have the full view. It's a two floor living room. Um, so really, really high, spectacular ceilings. Uh, you got a 10 seat dining table right here. Really nice in this main hall welcome hall basically which leads into the living space the chill out space with the tv integrated into this little cabinet right here with the speakers you can see through and this awesome lowered living space very modern uh, very cool looking and all of this as well surrounded by these big big windows which are closed right now to try and keep a bit of the a bit of the heat out the cool party trick of this is the winery, yeah, the special wine room down there with these really cool champagnes and everything uh, which is seen through the living room through this glass. It's pretty awesome that you can see your alcohol stock right through the living room and you can stand on this glass which feels pretty weird. But you can stand on that. Awesome big couch looped around, custom couch, really nice. Little sitting area here, little coffee area, waiting area if you have guests that are coming over. you got a little day bathroom for guests here as well. Uh, with some storage for your coat or anything like that. The main entrance door, a really nice wooden door with a wooden handle, awesome looking. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight through to the kitchen and some of the rooms, uh, first of all. So come through to the kitchen, modern kitchen with an island. It's an interesting layout on this house. A really nice modern kitchen with the dark marble toppings. Um, everything's, you know, pretty brand new. You've got Miele induction right here. You've got your fridges, everything. You've got your microwave and oven, obviously. And this awesome view from your kitchen. So when everything's opened up, you've just got light coming in from everywhere. And the usage of light is fantastic. Even in these little courtyards in the middle, everything is glass and that allows the natural light to come into all of these rooms. It's really quite fascinating design, really nice. You've got this um, island bar right here. So if ever you're just having breakfast or a light snack, you can have it on the island bar. And you've got direct access through this window, which swivels open to the outdoor dining area. So this nice little patio with the gorgeous view, which we'll show you in a little bit, which is kind of the party trick of this house, because you've got views on a winery and views on the sea. So you come through this corridor, again, another middle patio right here to bring all this light in to um, the corridor. So you see, you can see all the way through the house and into one of the bedrooms. So when you come in, you've got the toilet on your left, uh, you've got a, the bathroom right here on your right, and then a nice closet as well. If I just switch that on, nice big closet for this bedroom. And the main room itself with a big bed, nice little office desk if you want to work here and be you know, nice and calm. And then the TV which comes out of this little cabinet right there, which is a nice little, nice little gadget. Obviously big swiveling windows as well that you can just come out onto your own private terrace for this room. Awesome, and then take in that view. You're really close to town, yet so separated from the 
busyness of Saint-Tropez city. So really close to Saint-Tropez, the location is prime. Really interesting, this house is available for rent as well as for sale. I'll put all the links down below. So then you come up this staircase, long staircase, up to two more rooms, which hopefully are opened up for us. What have we got here? You got bathrooms, little bathroom, with a shower for each room. Here's the bed. But look, if you go through, you got your own private terrace and that gorgeous view as well. We'll come out of that one because the lighting's not great. Into another kind of very similar room with its own little toilet and terrace as well. Again, with the view slightly higher this time, so you've got more of a sea view. So those are the three first bedrooms. As I mentioned, there are five bedrooms and a studio, which we'll go see now. So the advantage of a studio in a room like this, in a house like this, sorry, is that you can um, make the most of, let's say, if you've got a cook, a stay-in chef, or you've got, you know, security, or whatever it may be, or even if you've got, you know, um, your parents or whatever staying over and you want them to have their own bit of privacy they can have that through this door which is linked directly to the kitchen so as mentioned if you have uh, a stay in chef they are right next to the kitchen right there you come in and you've got this little studio so the bed comes out there you've got a little bathroom as well through here there you go and it's got its own separate entrance so you can come in and out independently from that door so this is really convenient if you've got a, a stay in, as I mentioned, st staff member. Big mirror. And this is where things get interesting because he thought that was all this room could give. But you turn around and you've got these two staircases. So the party tricks are downstairs. But I'm going to show you actually the last couple of bedrooms before showing you the coolest part of the house. Okay. So up these stairs we go. Here, we have two more bedrooms, similar to the ones we just saw. So the last two bedrooms. These, however, have independent access right here to its own rooftop terrace, which is pretty cool, with that awesome view, yet again. Nice rooms, again, with its own little bathroom. And then we've got the same thing, basically, round on the other side. So if you come through here, Another bathroom, very similar to what we saw before. With windows, wraparound windows, towards that little patio out there. You can see all the windows from the corridor. Big bed, and again, this really nice view. Awesome, and access over there to the terrace. Right, this is the part I'm most excited about showing you. Come down with me, back down these stairs. If you come downstairs, this is where the hidden kind of belly of the house is. So, you come down here, obviously there's less natural light down here, but that is actually kind of convenient for one of the rooms I'm going to show you. So this is the laundry room. And if you come in here, look at this. How cool is this? Full cinema. So you've got an eight-seat cinema right here. Awesome sound system. Soundproofing walls. I don't know if you can hear it. My voice has kind of changed as soon as I walk in here. Looks fantastic. So you've got your own private cinema. But not only that, you've got your own reception room. So to have parties, big events, huge dinners, whatever it may be, you've got your own reception room with its own bar. How cool is this to have this right basically in the middle of Saint-Tropez. If you're going to throw a party, you're going to have an event, um, whatever it may be, this is the place to do it. How nice is this? Also with a bit of natural light coming in from the top, which will dive in down here. Awesome looking. Now, let me show you a bit of the outside spaces of the house because we are in Saint-Tropez after all and that it, I mean it is basically the most important in the houses here most of the time you will be outside so you come back up through towards the terrace out through the dining room okay when you come outside you've got a few little sitting areas so you've got a nice little cocktail area here all of these uh, lovely little sun lounges and this huge 
pool with again the dark colored tiles that like we saw in one of the last houses we visited looks awesome and it's so long i mean i'm walking across this <laughs> you kind of lose your breath just walking across the whole pool nice little shallow area right here if you've got kids this is perfect for them and then that is the view of the house from here with the pool how cool is that awesome it's kind of camouflaged because of the way the house is built it doesn't stick out too much it's not like a big you know modern structure in the middle of beautiful Saint-Tropez it's very discreet in its own way and mixes in quite nicely you do have a pool house right here so you've got a barbecue as well but then you've got the pool house with its own bar these really cool looking chairs and a little bathroom changing room everything you need in the pool house basically really nice this is a house you can tell that's been made to host host in inside outside different forms of parties I mean you can do anything here and because we're right next to vineyards and there used to be a vineyard as part of this house you've actually got access to a humongous garden down here where you could you know if you've got kids for example they can come and play football uh, you can put up a badminton whatever you may want and you've got pétanque how do you say that I keep saying it in French I've forgotten how to say it in, in English but look at the size of this garden for Saint-Tropez guys this is insane and you're straight on to the vineyards out here which is so sick because again I keep saying it but it is true you are literally right next to town and it feels like you're completely in the countryside when you're out here look at this and there's the house blended in nicely into the hillside right there that's that guys I mean quick little visit just thought I would show you around the house as I'm looking around and um, just gathering knowledge gathering uh, kind of information of these sorts of places and i think this looks really cool perfect summer rental um, and it's also up for sale so if ever you're interested this is a pretty cool place and i feel very lucky to have been able to see it and share it with you let me know in the comments down below if these kinds of videos are of interest if they are fantastic if they're not please let me know as well i am intrigued do you want to see more these are some cool houses but trust me we could potentially get access to some 10 bedroom 12 bedroom houses which would be really really cool so i'm uh, i'm pumped about it i'm really enjoying this and i'm learning so much along the way so thanks for watching subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you soon cheers guys bye, -bye.